Chelsea Boucher's hair was cut off in an age line in Elmhurst. We have, uh, again today, um, Jacob Sue Ramey, who was a victim of another hate attack in one of our city schools. And I think the message today from the Sikh community, uh, the Sikh American community, is that we're fed up. We're fed up that this young man spent a year in school being tormented by his classmates. We're fed up because for a year his classmates pulled at his beard. We're fed up because for a year his classmate would pull at his turban. We're fed up because for a year a classmate would try to remove his turban. We're fed up because for a year one of his classmates kept asking him to remove his turban and show his hair. We're fed up because for a year we've been telling the Department of Education that Richmond Hill High School has been a problem. I personally handed a, a folder to Chancellor Klein. I personally handed a folder to Chancellor Klein in July 2007 citing that Richmond Hill High School, this boy's high school, was a problem high school. We're fed up because for a year we've been raising this issue and there hasn't been any action taken. We're fed up because this boy suffered, the DA DOE knew that his school was an issue, and the DOE didn't take any action. We're fed up because we're not going to have any more press conferences anymore. We're fed up because we're not going to issue any press releases anymore. We're fed up because we're ready finally to take action against the DOE and let them know that we are not going to take this anymore. We are just fed up. These articles of faith, the sick articles of faith, stand for the most American values. When I wear this turban, when Jagmon wears this turban, we are telling society that we stand for human rights, we stand for equality, we stand for dignity and love for all. Instead of these articles of faith being the subject of hate, being the subject of harassment, they should be the object of veneration. Instead of hating sick children in our school, we should love sick children in our school. Our community uh, contributes a great deal to this city, a great deal to this country, and we're fed up and we're ready to stand up. If we have to stand here a year from now and do a third press conference because another sick children was the subject of, of bias in schools, we're going to take to the streets, we'll get arrested if we needed to, but we are fed up and we're not going to take it anymore. That is the message. We are fed up and we want the DOE to come up with a plan of action to protect the sick community, to protect this boy from harassing the schools. Thank you, and I'd like to call Councilmember Lou. Thank you, Amar. This is like deja vu all over. Just one year ago, we stood right here in the same spot, talking about how a sick boy in the public high school in New York City had been complaining for months that he was being harassed because of his faith in school and that the Department of Education and the administrators did nothing about it. And today, we're back once again in the same spot, decrying the fact that Jagmon has been attacked. He was attacked sitting in a classroom, minding his own business, trying to study, trying to learn, trying to do the things that we expect Jagmohan and all the kids like him to do in the classroom. And he was attacked, was punched in the face with someone holding keys with the intent to cause great harm and you can see the scars that he's still carrying and probably will do so for a long time. What is What has happened here is totally and utterly reprehensible. It's a reprehensible act of violence against somebody who's, who was picked out because of his faith. Jeff Mohan, this attack against Jack Mohan is being investigated by the NYPD's hate crimes. Just like the attack last year was investigated as a hate crime. But just as guilty as the fellow student who attacked Jack Mohan, just as guilty as the attacker is the Department of Education, which time and time and time again refuses to acknowledge the fact that bullying and harassment takes place 
and the hate does occur, and that that harassment is only further encouraged through the inactions and the inattention of the Department of Education.